Welcome back to Heartsbourne Reads. Today I'm going to be looking at another book, another non-fiction book called Caterpillar to Butterfly and this is going to link really well with reception's topic on spring and growing. The important thing to remember about a non-fiction book is it will usually have a contents page at the beginning. So here's the contents page of this book. And it says, the first page it says, says what is a butterfly? Page number four. So we'd look for page number four and then we'd find what is a butterfly. Page number four, what is a butterfly? A butterfly is a type of insect. Insects have three pairs of legs, making six legs altogether. The wings of a butterfly are covered in tiny scales. The scales are usually patterned and coloured. Insect bodies are divided into three parts. The head is the front part and has eyes and a mouth. The thorax is the middle part where the legs and wings are attached. The abdomen is the back part where the insect digests its food. Head, eye, leg, thorax, abdomen, wing. I'll show you that a little bit closer. Story of a butterfly. Butterflies flutter around the plants. Female butterflies look for a place to lay their eggs. The eggs will hatch into caterpillars. Later, the caterpillars will change into butterflies. A butterfly has four stages in its life cycle. The story of how an egg grows into an adult butterfly is called a life cycle. Four stages, egg, caterpillar, pupa or chrysalis, and an adult butterfly. A new life begins. In spring, a female butterfly searches for somewhere safe to lay her eggs. She lays them under leaves where they're hidden from view. Monarch butterflies lay their eggs on milkweed plants and the eggs stick to the leaves. Different types of butterfly lay their eggs on different plants. Peacock butterflies choose nettles. These plants have stinging hairs. Just these stings stop animals from eating the nettles and their eggs. The eggs hatch. A few days later, the eggs hatch and tiny yellow caterpillars come out from each one. The caterpillars spend most of their time eating, so they grow very quickly. As caterpillars grow, their skin become tight and split. The caterpillar sheds its skin, revealing a new one underneath. This is called molting. A caterpillar is also known as a larva. When the caterpillar molts, it wriggles out of its old skin. Staying alive. Caterpillars are soft and juicy and lots of other animals want to eat them. Many caterpillars have special ways of staying alive. Monarch caterpillars are bad to eat. Their stripes warn other animals that they are poisonous. Many caterpillars are green, so they blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. A green caterpillar on a green leaf can be hard to see. Making a pupa, also known as a chrysalis. Caterpillars grow fast. After about 14 days, a caterpillar is ready to change into a pupa. The next stage, this is the next stage of the life cycle. The caterpillar makes a silk thread that uses to hang from a leaf. It molts for one last time. It spins a pupa around itself or a chrysalis. A pupa is usually green or grey so it's difficult to see on a plant. This is another example of camouflage. The pupa is tough on the outside to protect the insect on the inside. A butterfly appears. After about two weeks, the pupa of a monarch butterfly becomes darker in colour. And the adult butterfly does not grow anymore. Male and female monarchs look very similar, 
but males have dark spots on the back of their wings. Butterfly life. Butterflies flutter around searching for food. They feed on sweet sugary nectar inside flowers. Once the butterflies are ready, they lay their eggs on a leaf and a new life cycle begins. The long journey. As summer comes to the end, monarch butterflies start an amazing journey called migration. They fly to warmer places, the journey can cover thousands of kilometres and takes more than two months. In spring, the butterflies set off to their summer homes on, to, on young change into butterflies and continue their journey. And that's the end of the book. Did you notice that in this book there are lots of photographs because that's another feature of a non-fiction book. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope that it will help you complete some of the tasks that we're setting for our topic work this week. See you later everybody!